Friday. So we're here at All Things Chrome. Basically, I've heard that they are the kings of stretched Hayabusa's, and uh, I have a stretched Hayabusa, and it needs a little bit of work. One, I have no idea how I didn't die at Rod Run. This bike didn't have an axle nut, so uh, there's kind of like nothing holding on the wheel and tire. <laughs> on bikes they also have quite the inventory they sell a bunch of stretch kits i don't think they sell one as long as mine dx14 hayabusa uh h2 two custom hayabusas 32 grand Thirty-two thousand dollars. msrp yeah mm, that big mama jam over there yeah that thing's stretched too i was gonna title the video like find the world's stretched high most stretched hayabusa that's that's a little bit more stretched than mine i can't tell though no, I think I think it's the same stretch. Just your tire's so big, it and it's has, on bags. It's, it has a different uh, tail. Rear end. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Jixer 1000 rear end. So I think mine actually goes to like right here. <laughs> Pretty much. Look at all the swing arms hanging from the ceiling. Thousands of swing arms. And <laughs> hey, look at the wheels. I feel like we're gonna live here. Yeah, this is I gonna. Hope they do this is good job so we can come back. Yeah. Falling. If you need anything, all things chrome. I'm not entirely sure if they do good work yet, but it seems like. They I mean, if they have all this shit, job. you know. Smells like pumpkin spice lattes. I love this time of year. These are falling on the ground, and your passenger princess is in need of some heated seats. Well, lucky for you, I've got the answer for you. Got a beautiful fifth gen interior. Got a the big fifth gen screen so you can watch movies when you're on road trips. Heated and cooled leather seats, and a nice heated and cooled leather steering wheel. Those are just a couple of the features of your brand new truck. You guys only have 72 hours left to get our twin jackal. This is my 2019 Ram 2500 fifth gen Mega Cab Cummins. It's got a six inch striker lift, powder coated black with gold flake with polished overlays, 26 by 16 KG1 forged wheels wrapped in 35 1550 Fury tires. Midnight edition, so it comes color match from the factory it's got alpha x headlights it's got a bunch of rock lights that looks like a ufo at nighttime it's got a six seven cummins deleted and tuned it sounds amazing it's got a built 68 automatic transmission so it's ready to pull any trailer you hook up behind this thing and it could be yours all you have to do to get in it is click the link above or in the description below today super simple and on october 15th we might be giving you a call telling you to come pick up your new truck well this thing will not be here much longer so i think today i will spend the rest of my day driving it around and uh enjoying it while i still have it good luck to everybody enjoy the rest of the video goddamn race truck no seriously like sitting inside that thing you, you gotta come see it come on that's a race that's truck. like the coolest fucking sight the best uh way i could describe it is it feels like i'm driving my mustang i don't even need that thing who knew i just put a cow hood on all my trucks and it feels like i'm driving a fucking race car this is baller look at that that's, a, that's beautiful i've owned many of these body style trucks literally forever i've always wanted a four inch cow hood at least i think it's a four inch might be an eight inch i don't know it's fucking ginormous got it from savini hoods no they didn't give me a discount or anything but that is like the only place to get these hoods so if you're looking for them savini hood painted by yours truly in my um my paint booth 
Yeah, I don't have a paint booth yet, so we just kind of just paint everything in the driveway. It actually upset, like, everyone on the internet. We posted a reel yesterday on Instagram. Can you guys just pick one? You, you can either be mad because I don't build my trucks. They always say, we never build our trucks. We always pay people to do it, blah, blah, blah. So we painted my hood and installed it. Actually, it turned out really fucking good. I had to spray it, like, 700 times. I'm a perfectionist, so I wasn't really happy with minor details, but got it to where I wanted it. And uh, the actual hood looks better than the paint on the entire fucking truck, which is pretty impressive because this is a very, very nice truck. Everyone was so mad. They're like, ah, he's painting it outside or he doesn't know how to paint. I grew up watching my grandpa paint motorcycles, golf carts, trucks. Obviously I'm not like, I'm no Thomas King. I am gonna get better. And we are, uh, we're gonna be painting stuff ourselves from now on. And we're gonna be doing lift kits from now on just to make all you guys happy because I'm tired of hearing that we don't build our own trucks. The hood's not even on. I just got so excited. <laughs> I had to put it on yesterday to see what it looked like before the sun went down. We still have to take all the bracketry off of the old hood. The latch, gotta hook up the shock so, you know, it actually like stays up by itself. And we still have to align the hood and everything so it's not 100%, but God damn. If you don't have a cow hood on your truck, you need to get a cow hood. Maybe we'll just order cow hoods for every single vehicle because it, it makes it look a million times better. And people need to understand like, just because I don't record that I work on trucks doesn't mean I, I don't know how to work on trucks. Like, do people not understand that I've been doing this, like, as long as I can remember? Like, cool part about this hood is it's actually functional. The holes right there, I think that, like, dissipates heat or something, you know, because it is a race truck. How does this work? Does the air go in here and then push the hot air that way? Damn. Wow. All this thing really needs now, a grill if we can find one. Custom headlights should be here this week. Change up some powder coat. I do like the 30s. Those are temporary setups, so those are getting changed later in this video. Then this truck will be pretty much 100%. This is Abby's uh, F350. We bought it with 28s and 44 inch boggers and she came along and she was like, hey Gabe, it'd be really cool if when we went to SEMA, it was on 30s and 44s. So, you know, me being the fabulous husband that I am, we gave her the 30s off of my silver truck, but that's okay. Cause I stole her JTXs, so she's okay with it. Uh, we're gonna put those on and then we're gonna put the JTXs on the silver truck. And then we're gonna have a happy Ford family of cool trucks and you'll have a way cooler truck than me. So I'll just go fuck myself. It's like Christmas came early. That's our Christmas tree. <laughs> Underneath Santa Claus left us like $40,000 in wheels and tires. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Oh, they all spin too. Oh, Santa knows me so well. It, yeah, like she said, it doesn't look like a mud toy anymore. It looks like a pretty truck. So we took off the three inch spacers because I'm stealing those for Silver Bullet. Shifted Industries is sending us out four inch spacers for this for SEMA. Not only is that side way wider because it's a 20 inch wide tire, it also has three inch spacers. So keep that in mind. Four inch spacers on that, that's gonna look amazing. I think that looks sick. And it's still 44, so she didn't lose any lift height size or anything. It still sits the same height. It's not a tractor anymore. It's a pretty pretty pavement princess. It's gonna be a good riding truck. It's gonna be a great truck that we're gonna stick into a pond. Sheesh. Yeah, damn. That looks way better. 
yeah. That looks insane. It doesn't look like a Tonka truck anymore. It looks really, really clean. Looks way better. See my little spacers? Needs four inch spacers and then it will be perfect for SEMA. Yes. off my Hayabusa there like two weeks ago. Yes, I bought a Hayabusa. Barely anybody knows about it. I posted like one video, which went viral on like every social media platform. So I'm going to be showing more of this bike, hopefully. Whenever I bought it to ride around at Rod Run, I had my buddy skating up for a 50, go pick it up for me. And I said, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. We replaced like everything. The jack shaft, the chain, the sprockets, shocks, brakes, tires. It didn't have front or rear tires, like they were bald as fuck. I told all things Chrome to just go through the whole bike and make it absolutely perfect. It's finally finished two weeks later and we're picking it up and I'm gonna ride it home. It's about to get really cold outside and I'm probably not gonna be able to ride this bike much until next year. I like how we're standing here like it's gonna look different. I mean, it has new tires, so it's gonna look a little different. And it don't go up and down anymore. Is he gonna do a rolling burnout? I really hope so. Dude. Oh my gravy. Until that, that Chrome you can off. see, yeah, you can see where it's starting to wear gotcha. in there. So you'll feel it a little bit until it's gone. Okay. Nice. Right. Thank you. I'll let us. Yeah. Appreciate it. Not a problem. Good to shop you need anything. Thank you. Well, time to die. die. Time to crap. Don't die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, my ass fucking hurts. Two. This is probably the most fun, most outrageous, most amazing bike I've ever owned. Most people don't know all that's about me. I've been riding bikes since I was like 16. Dirt bikes, anything from a Honda Grom all the way up to Hayabusa's. But this is my first Hayabusa. It's a, it's a little longer than a factory one. It's like 30 inches over stock. Massive, ginormous 360 tire. It, it's almost as long as my cock. It has tons of chrome plating. It has a loud ass exhaust stock motor it doesn't need any more power because this thing literally blows the tires off at like 80 mile an hour for no reason it's got tons of i don't even know would you call these rock lights it has rock lights it looks like a ufo at nighttime it's got a huge nice nitrous bottle ginormous nitrous bottle i will be daily driving it to get groceries every single day and also me and you can take it to go get ice cream mm. yeah it's pretty dope look at that beautiful sunset wow see you bye I get mad at the tires. I watch it once. How do you do this? <laughs> I fucking hope not. They will do that. Hey, we, we got somewhere. Push. Oh, Bro, this is light work. Bro, that shit was light. Uh, I mean, did we do it? And then you flip it over and you have the other one? You gotta get it out. Tire the whole thing? Yeah. Alright. Now you pull it all the way out. <laughs> I don't know either. It feels wrong. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I don't have to wait. I still have to <laughs> so effortless. Ah. Uh, can you go room? Lost a whole section of time. A whole section of yeah, time. Look at this. I heard it blow up. No, the fender well. No. Oh god. <laughs> just glue it on. Oh my god. You just glue it back on, bro. You literally have a brand new tire right there. This this would help. That's the other side. <laughs> 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 